Hey guys, welcome back to my small engine repair channel. Today I want to show you guys an important mistake to avoid when you replace the pull cord on your small engine equipment. So what I've got here is a recoil from a Honda small engine and as you can see the cord will not retract all the way back in the recoil. I have made videos in the past showing what to do when this happens but today's problem is different than what I've showed in the other video that I made. Now, if you want to watch that other video I made, the link is in the top right hand corner of your screen right now. But keep watching this video because I'm going to show you another problem that people often encounter that will leave the cord sticking out of your recoil. So in my previous videos, I showed recoils that came in like this. And the reason why the cord would not go back in the previous recoils or in the videos I made was because people were using a cord that was way too big for the size of the recoil they had, thus causing it not to go back in all the way. Now this recoil here has the perfect size of rope for it. It's not too big. So the actual problem with this recoil today is that the cord is too long. Oftentimes people will replace the cord, they'll either get a cord that's too big or too long. Now you want to keep in mind that when you fix a recoil on a lawnmower, you don't want the handle to go right back to the recoil because the cord pulls out like this and the handle attaches to the body of the mower. So you have quite a few feet here of just rope that is to get to the top of the handle over here. So that's why you don't always want the cord to go right back to the edge of the recoil. Now this recoil here fits on Honda lawnmowers and pressure washers. If you have a pressure washer, you don't want a long cord to go up to the handle. It will retract right back to the edge here of the recoil. But in this case here, the cord is so long that even if you put it on a lawnmower, it will not retract properly inside. And I'll show you right now why it's doing that. The cord is so long that it retracts in all the way, but then it gets caught between the rope rotor and the outer casing that the rope rotor goes in. So the rope is stuck right in here. There's no more room for it to go back. So if I pull out the rope, and if it was the proper length, you can see it'll go right back in. But as I mentioned, the rope rotor stops turning because the rope is hitting the edges here. So the best way to avoid that guys is when you go to buy pull cord for your starter is measure the old cord even if it's broken in pieces kind of put them together and measure it get the same length and get the same size of rope as well putting in too much rope is not always better now if you're pulling your small engine and you can feel it that it's going right to the end of the rope rotor inside the recoil then you might want to extend the rope a bit so you don't do that when you're pulling it but otherwise, just get the same size, same length, and put it back in. So to give you an example, if you were putting in a rope in this Honda recoil for your pressure washer, you'd want the rope to be about 51 inches long. If this recoil would be for your lawnmower and it's going up to the handlebars, you'd want the rope to be about 92 inches long. So what I'll do here is take out the rope just to show you how much longer it is. I'm going to log the rotor with a screwdriver like this. Now once it's back in, you can take this out. It's going to go back in. Now if it still won't retract and you have the proper size and length of cord, it's really easy to make it go back to the way it should be. On these Honda recoils here, you can just kind of pull the cord from here. And there's a lot of room in between both plastic pieces. And what you want to do is turn the cord counterclockwise. So this will add more tension to the spring. And then your rope's going to go right back in. It's still a little loose, so I will pull out the cord and repeat the process. Now keep in mind that you don't want to make the spring too tight or else it will break. So this is perfect and I can pull it out all the way and when you have the proper size and length of rope here you can see it's not hitting the outer edge where the rotor goes in. Now I know a lot of you guys watching today already know this but I did get a lot of questions from customers and from viewers as to why 
the recoils weren't going back in. And it happened a few times where I told the customer, look, your cord's too long, that's why it's not going back in. And remember, the same principle will apply to most small engine pull cords and starters because they all work on the same principle. You always wanna make sure you're using the correct size of rope. That's really important because if it's too big, you won't be able to get the proper length of cord for it to work and also the length because if it's too long as you saw the recoil will not go back in thanks again for watching guys if you have any questions please comment below make sure you're following me on social media facebook twitter and instagram and have a great day guys